Hello everyone, this is Damian Rucker coming to you from Audubon, Pennsylvania, broadcasting currently from the Discovery Center here in beautiful Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here with a great backyard bird count tip for you. Now this isn't my backyard, so let's get to my backyard and I can show you what feeders I have set up. The Great Backyard Bird Count is a free, fun, and easy event that engages bird watchers of all ages in counting birds. And today, my tips for you are going to be about birds coming to your feeders. All right, here we are at my house. I thought I'd grab my feeders, show you how I like to set them up, and tell you a little bit about some of the birds that might be attracted to these certain feeders. Now, I do have a few summer feeders as well. I have this fruit feeder. I also have a hummingbird feeder. I tend to take those down. Not much use for them in the winter. Hummingbird feeders and fruit feeders are unnecessary during the winter months, as most of the birds eating this type of food are long gone for the winter. It's a misconception that birds need to get away from the cold in the winter. They are like us and they are endothermic, meaning they produce their own heat. Most migratory birds follow resources such as food and water. All right, one feeder is a, a suet feeder here. So a suet's a fat content. They put seeds and things inside of it. It attracts a lot of different types of birds, especially um, things like uh, downy woodpeckers love these suet cages. Uh, I see them probably every day at my cages. Another thing, these can attract squirrels. You can get around that by doing hot pepper suet. A lot of birds don't have great senses of smell and taste, so they can go right through that hot pepper suet. Things like squirrels, they tend to stay away from the hot pepper suet. Suet cages are excellent for attracting birds such as titmice, downy woodpeckers, and the large and impressive red-bellied woodpecker. These feeders are also frequented by invasive species such as the European starling. This is a general feeder right here. You can kind of put any type of seed in here, put millet, put seeds, sunflower seed. I have niger seed in here before it was emptied out this morning. Um, this is great because this can also keep squirrels away. This is a mechanism that anything heavier than a bird gets on top of here, it's gonna close it out. Now you're not gonna keep squirrels away from your feeders all year long and all day long. However, I like to keep them out of the actual feeders. They can go around to the ground and eat some of the seed that the birds drop, but I like them to stay away from the feed inside my feeders because I'll just have to keep feeding them over over and over and over again. I like to keep them for the birds. General feeders can be a catch-all for any novice bird that wants to begin feeding birds in their yard. These types of feeders can be filled with various materials to attract a wide variety of birds. Sunflower seeds, millet, niger seeds, or even chopped up fruit and mealworms can be put into these feeders. No matter which kind of feeder or bird food you use, it is important to keep your feeders clean. Taking them down every week or so to clean them and keep the bird populations in your community healthy and thriving. So those are some of my feeders. Please let Audubon Pennsylvania know what's been coming to your feeders. Take care, everyone. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Be sure to take part in the Great Backyard Bird Count this winter from February 12th through the 15th. Get more info about the Great Backyard Bird Count at pa.audubon.org. Bye, everyone. Until next time.